If you're interested in checking out the Elastic Stack, then stick around because this quick guide is going to walk you through setting it up and importing articles from Dev2 so that you can experiment and get your hands dirty. Elasticsearch is an open source, scalable, full text search and analytics engine. It's used for a variety of purposes from things like full text search to e-commerce to retime Apple analytics and is frequently associated with big organizations and big data. But Elastic did a great job with their default configuration, so it's great for smaller projects as well. In this guide, we're gonna spin up a couple services that make up the basic Elastic stack, formerly known as the Elk stack. This includes three services, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. Elasticsearch is a persistence engine and API layer. Logstash is a plugin-based tool for importing data. Kibana is an administration GUI for exploration management. First up, we have a couple of prerequisites. You're going to need Docker for this guy to work. Check the description down below for installation instructions, and if you can't get Docker set up on your computer for some reason, then uh, sorry, but uh, you are out of luck for this guide. The first step is to create a docker compose.yml file that describes how your services fit together. I'm aiming for speed over depth in this guide, so I've already created this for you. You just have to clone the repository uh, listed in the description below and then fire up the Elastic Stack with docker compose-up. After it spins up, give Elasticsearch a few seconds to kind of catch its breath after it starts, and then you can verify its status by hitting this URL in a browser. HTTP localhost colon 9200. Step two is importing data. Now we're gonna use Logstash to import the data. Remember I uh, mentioned earlier that it uses a plugin based architecture to do that. And it's basically got configurable inputs and outputs. So what we're gonna do is configure an RSS input for the data coming in and an Elasticsearch output in order to get the data into Elasticsearch. To do that, all you have to do is add the second line to the docker file .logstash file so that it looks like this. This line takes care of installing the plugin that you need for the RSS at the time that the container is created. If you're not familiar with Docker, don't worry, just know that Logstash is gonna take care of you. Now let's configure the input. Each RSS block represents one RSS feed that will be imported into Elasticsearch every 3,600 seconds. That's once an hour. Replace the config slash logstash.conf file contents with the following lines uh, listed in the description below and Logstash is gonna take care of the rest. You can see the inputs are some of my favorite blogs uh, configured to pull once an hour and the output basically sets up an index called blogs that will hold the data. The Logstash plugin takes care of creating all the feeds and doing all the mapping that we need. Next time we restart our environment, Logstash is gonna start pulling and importing the feed data. So let's go ahead and stop, rebuild, and then restart the environment. Again, give Elasticsearch a minute here to breathe after Docker Compose is up and running, and then try hitting this URL in the browser to see that you have data. All right, step three is just to have fun. Everything's set up so you're off and running. You can log into Kibana and click around, generate some dashboards, experiment the queries. I'll have links to the search API down below, but uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash that subscribe button on your way out.